Welcome back. My name is Corinne Phillips and this is Fresh Pea Cooks. Today I'm going to show you how to make something that should be in every cook's repertoire. Lock conditioner. If you take care of your wooden items, they can be so beautifully soft and smooth. Like if you closed your eyes, you wouldn't know if that was wood or plastic like it's there's just there's no detectable grain in there and I love beautifully conditioned wood so what better way than to make our own wood conditioner what I love most about this recipe is that it's not petroleum based any in every wood conditioner that I've ever seen commercially available is petroleum based I don't eat petroleum. I don't want to eat petroleum. I don't want it on my spoons. This goes in our food. Petroleum is um, an oil that melts and then it melts into your food. I don't want to cut my vegetables on a board that's been seasoned with mineral oil, a petroleum based oil. I did that for years because I just didn't know there was another alternative. What you're going to need for this recipe is beeswax, refined coconut oil, the stuff that doesn't have that coconut fragrance. And this you can find in most grocery stores um, and probably all health food stores. And orange oil. You don't need any fancy utensils for this. I just have a pot of simmering water with one of these eight ounce canning, wide mouth canning jars. You want wide mouth because you want to be able to get in there. This is a really thick paste. So you want to be able to get in there um, and scoop it out. And this recipe fills one of these perfectly. If you wanna make multiples for gifts, um, just double, triple, quadruple it, whatever your, whatever your needs are. Okay, so I'm gonna weigh out my ingredients. Now I've made this several different times and I've been messing around with the ratios. More beeswax will make it harder, stiffer, and um, you could even make it hard enough that you would make it into a bar and then rub it on your wood if that's the kind of application you're after. More coconut oil will give you a softer um, scrub that's kind of paste-like where you can just take it and rub it with a rag onto your surface. Now because I've made this recipe several different times and changed the proportions, I found kind of a sweet spot with the ratio between coconut oil and beeswax. And the coconut oil, you can go up to 120 grams, between 100 and 120 grams, 30 grams of beeswax, and 10 grams of orange oil. That seems to be my favorite consistency. So I'm going to go ahead and do um, 110 grams of coconut oil and 30 grams of beeswax. Um, for those of you that know a better way to cut beeswax, please leave a comment below because every time I make lip gloss or any sort of body care stuff or butcher block conditioner, I'm always a little bit terrified of my stab and twist process here. My jar and my water um, they're just on low, so it's hot, but not really simmering. It's just there. Okay, once you have all of your oils weighed out, a little handy trick I will tell you is um, the disposable chopsticks we get with takeout. These work great because you can just toss them. You can also stir it with the handle of one of your wooden spoons. Um, that way, there's just no mess. There's no cleanup because you don't want to get this waxy stuff all over your counter and on your utensils and you have to scrape it off and it's just kind of messy. All right, my wax is completely melted. I'm just going to feed in my coconut pieces and you can see it's just melting. Not as fast as I'm putting it in, but melting really quickly. Oop. Christmas time is one of those interesting times of year for a lot of us. And um, it's bittersweet for me, I will admit that. Um, we have our fair share of uh, family drama. And it just it makes me sad that we can't all be together and get along. And, um, but it's also a really beautiful time to be, you know, inside, introspective, making gifts for people. And this is one of those gifts that's 
it's really fantastic because it's genderless, um, it's ageless, and it's one of those things that you can just leave for your postal carrier or the guys at the produce department. Like everybody has wooden handles. You can use this on your tools. You can use this um, on your workbench. You can use it on anything. Okay, so what I've found here is I need to put this back on the heat because the wax is starting to um, cool down. And so I've got little wax chunks. So I'm just going to return this to the heat. I thought I could do this so y'all could see up here. but Okay. So both of our, our oil and our wax is all melted together. I'm going to add in the orange oil and just stir really well to integrate those. And that's it. When it dries, it will turn into this beautiful kind of white paste. Um, and from there, you just use it straight on your wood products. I'll show you how I use it on my, um, my utensils. I'll just take a little bit and rub it on. And because it's just beeswax and coconut and orange, um, you don't have to worry about getting it on the spoon part. Like you can just eat it. I wouldn't, but you, you can. I guess I do in minute quantities. Okay, now to finish this up, all you do is just take a rag, like a preferably a terry cloth cottony one. They work the best. And um, just give it a little bit of buffing. And you'll see how beautiful and shiny and wonderful they feel. Voila! Beautiful, conditioned, um, and just a wonderful, wonderful gift for the craftsperson in your life. Now, this guy will take, um, give it a day just to cure and set up. And then you'll have gorgeous gorgeous lovely butcher block cream butter what do you call it wood block um conditioner <laughs> so thank you for being here thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed to the channel i would invite you to do so and um, for those of you that want to support my work hit the thumbs up it really does help us creators I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful holiday season, and I'll see you next time. Now, wax will build up over time on furniture, so I don't use this every time. Um, I will use, you know, an almond orange combo for my everyday or every day yeah right <laughs> my daily my weekly I should say dusting 